How to make out in a movie theater. Are you looking to make a move, at the movies? There's no shame in making out in a movie theater. This romantic move is beloved by high school students and adults who are in the mood alike. And let's face it, sometimes, there's just no better place to make out than in a dark, cool movie theater, where there is a sexy feeling of closeness and anonymity. However, before you make a move, you have to set the tone and make sure your kissing partner is ready for lights, camera, action. If you want to know how to make out in a movie theater, see step 1 to get started. Setting the stage. Pick a movie that will get you in the mood. If you want to have the best makeout session in the movies, then you should pick a movie that will make you and your kissing partner get that loving feeling. Now, you may kind of both already know that you're just going in there for some lip action, not to see the latest Oscar nominee give a breathtaking performance. You should pick something romantic, or something boring and nondescript, so you have lots of time to kiss without missing out. Just avoid anything too gory, scary, or important. You probably don't want to get caught making out during a movie about hate crimes or civil rights. Any summer blockbuster, romantic comedy, or action flick is perfect for making out. You don't want your kissing partner to turn you away, saying, hang on, I want to see what happens, you should also be careful not to pick a new movie on the day it comes out, or the theaters will be packed. Try to pick something that has been out in theaters for a while, or something you've never even heard of. This will make it more likely for you to get some privacy. Additionally, if you're old enough, go see a rated R or PG-13 movie. You want to minimize the amount of small kids in the audience or it'll be a real buzz kill. Minimize the concessions. Do you want a large popcorn with extra butter, or a long makeout session with extra lovin'? Maybe you can get some M and Amp, Miz and save them for later, or a large soda to quench your thirst, but you should avoid going all out when it comes to concessions, or it'll get in the way of trying to make out. You don't want to kiss or caress your partner's face if your fingers are covered in nacho cheese or popcorn butter. If you really can't do without your popcorn, maybe go back for it at half time, after you've had some time to kiss. Sit in a place where you can have some privacy. Though it can be hard to get true privacy in a public place, you can definitely try to sit somewhere more private so you don't get angry stares and so you don't get reprimanded by grandma. Find two seats that are in the back so people don't see your smooching silhouettes instead of what Denzel Washington is doing. Beyond that, try to sit toward the wall, in a row without any people in it, or which isn't surrounded by people. This will make you feel less shy about making a move. If you know the theater won't be packed, try to come in a little late, so you can stake out a private spot without having a family of eight sit down behind you at the last minute. Break the touch barrier. It'll be awkward to try to lock lips before you even really start touching each other. Guys can casually drape their arms over the seat at the start of the movie and then ease the arm over their girl's shoulder as the movie progresses. You can also move close enough that your outer feet or arms are touching, so you can break the touch barrier a bit. If you're in one of those fancy theaters with a movable armrest, move it up so you'll be sitting even closer to your kissing partner. Another thing is that movie theaters are always cold. Guys can ask their girls if they're cold, and when they say they are, it's an excuse to cuddle up even closer together. Touch each other lightly. Once you've moved closer together, you can start to touch each other a bit. You can hold hands, making sure to caress the fingers from time to time instead of letting your hands sit there like limp fish. You can also gently touch each other's knees or arms as you take it to an even more intimate level. Just remember to give it some time. You don't have to hold hands the second the movie starts. Make it feel natural instead of rushing into it, unless you feel like the most natural thing to do is to start making out right away. Make eye contact. Though it can be hard to make eye contact when you're both supposed to be looking ahead, intently watching the movie, it'll also be pretty hard to kiss without actually looking at each other. After you've been touching each other for a while, or even if you're making jokes to each other about the movie, you can slowly turn toward each other and make eye contact. This will let your kissing partner know that you're interested in more than just the movie. Lock eyes for a second, and look away. Alternately, you can let your eyes linger and let your partner know that it's time for the kissing to begin. Move your faces close together. Now it's time to angle your heads and move closer to each other until your lips almost touch. You can put your arms on your partner's hips, hands, or even his or her face to complete the gesture. If this feels like too much, you can just start with a simple kiss and then use your hands once you turn up the heat. Continue to look into your partner's eyes and get ready for more. Just keep in mind that, if you and your date haven't really made out yet, the movie theater may not be the best place to start. Trying to make out with someone you haven't kissed yet in the theater can catch the person off guard, and it can be a little uncomfortable to get to know someone's kissing style for the first time when you're in the dark. 